The remarkable, profound, great men of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua. During the early days of his ministry, in his own words, he said, Much have been said about the creation of Scorn, the synagogue church of all nations. Some do ask, does he have a mentor? Or who is his mentor? Has he ever been to any Bible school? Under whose authority and power does he perform healing and miracle? Who are his biological parents? Some even claim his parents were not Christians, but rather Muslims. But adds to all these targeted name callings, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, remain focused on his goal and calling. He took out time to share some light on his personal encounter with the heavenlies. Although many have questioned his foundation calling and educational background but his personal encounter with our lord and savior jesus christ is a remarkable outstanding and tremendous one the man of god prophet tb joshua guided inspired and been lured to the prayer mountain by the holy spirit at the prayer mountain he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights just as the prophet of old and being a remarkable example of our lord and savior jesus christ when he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and was tempted by the devil the purpose of this fast was to seek the face of God towards the future of his ministry, the scorn, and to be clothed with the needed power, wisdom, and glory in order for his divine mission, purpose, and work with God. For this was not an easy task. But with God, all things are possible. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. During this remarkable encounter with the Lord, as he falls to the ground, raises his hands towards the sky to pray, he received profound vision, insight, glory, and power that will flourish his ministry both physically and spiritually most of the deeper messages conveyed from god to him in this divine encounter has not been revealed to the world till date the man of god prophet tb joshua said on the prayer mountain, he was in a trance consecutively for three days. In this trance, he saw a hand with a Bible, and the Bible was pointed straight into his heart. And immediately, his former heart emerged with the Bible. Then his spiritual eyes were clearly opened. He saw the prophets of the old, but among them was someone that he was unable to see his face. He was very huge and tall to the heavens.
as his face was lost to the heavens with his feet suspended. The man of God said he believed it was the Lord. After a while, I saw the hand of the same tall being, which I could not behold his face, because his face radiated with an unimaginable strong light. I was also in their midst, and I could see the face of some apostle and prophet, such as Apostle Peter and Paul, Prophet Moses and Elijah. While looking at the hands of the one, I could not behold his face because it glitters with a very strong light. I heard a voice from heaven which sounded like thunder, saying, I am giving you a divine commission to go and carry out the works of the Father. At this moment, the same hand gave me a small cross and a big Bible. This Bible was bigger than the one that entered my heart. It came with a promise that as long as I press on with my divine work with God, the cross would get bigger bigger and bigger but if i fail to do so then the opposite will be the case and i heard the same voice saying i am the lord your god who was and who is jesus christ our lord given others to all the apostles and prophets, saying, I would show you my wonderful ways, and I will reveal myself to the world through you. In teaching, preaching, signs and wonders, and miracles, for the redemption and salvation of soul. And since then, the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, revealed that every year, in his divine vision, he has been receiving bigger crows. As to his faithfulness with God, he said, to me, this means more responsibility. For the Bible that enters my heart represents spirit and light. For the Lord, our God, does nothing without his word. Just as it's written in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16, says that the spirit of God bears witness with our own spirit to declare that we are children of the Most High God. A lot had been said by people concerning how the church synagogue came into being. Some people questioned my foundation. My mentor, my educational background, and my calling as a man of God. I am not showing this documentary because people questioned 
my foundation, my background, my mentor, my educational background, my calling as a man of God. I am showing it because it is God's time. That is, it is out of God. Stay blessed and wash. This prophet T.B. Joshua at a prayer mountain. Guided by the Holy Spirit, prophet T.B. Joshua came to this prayer mountain to seek the face of God. Like prophets of old, he fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights as prayer and fasting opens the door for God to enter. It was at this very prayer mountain that Prophet T.B. Joshua received divine anointing from God to start his ministry. As he raises his arm to heaven and then falls prostrate into pray, he received a covenant from God concerning his calling. Only he and God know the divine message that was revealed to him at that moment. Concerning this experience, Prophet T.B. Joshua said, I was in a trance for three consecutive days. Then I saw a hand that pointed a Bible to my heart, and the Bible entered my heart, and my former heart immersed with the Bible immediately. Then the awareness came, and I saw the apostles and prophets of old with someone who I could not see his head because he was tall to the heaven and suspended, which I believe was our Lord Jesus Christ sitting in their midst. I also saw myself in their midst. After a while, I saw a hand of the same tall man. I could not behold his face, which was glittering with an unimaginable light. But other apostles I could see their faces, particularly apostles Peter and Paul, prophets Moses, Elijah, and others. Their names were boldly written on their chest. I heard a voice saying, I am your God. I am giving you a divine commission to go and carry out the work of the Heavenly Father. At the same time, the same hand of the tall man gave me a small cross and a big Bible bigger than the one that entered my heart with a promise that as I keep pressing in his time and name, I will be given a bigger cross. But if I fail, the opposite would occur. I also heard a voice of the same tall man. I could not see his head, saying, I am the Lord your God, who was and who is. Jesus Christ, giving orders to all the apostles and prophets, the same voice said to me, I will show you the wonderful ways I will reveal myself through you in teaching, preaching, miracles, signs and wonders for the salvation of souls. Since then, I have been receiving in my vision, every year, according to my faithfulness to God, a bigger cross that means to me more responsibilities. The Bible that entered my heart symbolized spirit and life, the Holy Spirit. God's word is spirit and life. He does nothing without his word. The book of Romans 8.16 says, God's Spirit joins himself to our spirit to declare that we are children of God. This divine anointing is performed by God himself on all who have the wonderful privilege of becoming his children. It accompanies the conversion of those who trust in Christ. Paul said that the Spirit indwells every believer and his presence is the guarantee of our future glory in heaven according to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 21 to 22. As a result of this indwelling presence, we have the ability to become more like Christ in accordance with 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 to 18. We who are born of God have no excuse of remaining as we are we can be increasingly conformed to the image of Christ by yielding ourselves to God's anointing, the Holy Spirit, who dwells in our hearts. Father, 
Thank you for your spirit. Fill us with his love and power. Change us into Christ's own image, day by day and hour by hour. Remember, the Father gave us the spirit to make us like his son. Our picture on Chairman Man displayed to Wayani. Chairman, you are just giving us a good time. Other countries, what do you think? Yes, at that time, I will not have time for all this. The man of God said that by the time the glory of God is revealed in his ministry and people from other countries start coming, he would no longer have the time to visit this prayer mountain, and that in the future, he would have his own prayer mountain. In the college of God, however brilliant you may be, you will not be given double promotion. You will take every course. In the university of God, however brilliant you may be, you will not be given double promotion. You will take every course because each course serves a purpose. People of God, God has a time for everything. A time to be born. A time to grow. A time to face persecution. A time to overcome. And a time to show the proceeds of victory. <laughs>